Meow. Hello everyone, my name is Swing Point, and welcome to the next part of Minecraft Story Mode Episode 8. In this part, we, we learn a lot regarding Tim, regarding Hadrian, and a little bit of something that Hadrian was hiding and not telling us. You guys will see what I mean. It's really interesting. Kind of gets you a little riled up, and I'm sure you guys are going to really enjoy it. So, sit back and enjoy this part of Minecraft Story Mode Episode 8. Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the game. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Hadrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto. Shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. Otto, shut up. I wonder how this is going to go. What pompous jerks? Other losers don't look so tough. Oh my gosh, I'm so sick of these pompous jerks. I hate them. Yeah, I'm right there with you. They are the worst. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Okay. The starting line, huh? Right. A race. We've totally got this. You think so? <laughs> Got this, huh? Boom! Surprise locker room visit! Ah! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian! Oh, is that who and that is? here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Kicking you in the nuts. Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. My face. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm not going to be in your twisted interview, Hadrian. Get out of my face. Oh, I'll get out of your face. But I'll be laughing at your face from my nice cushy box while I watch you burn. Oh, I promise you that. You little nothing. Wow. <laughs> Listen up, bucko. These are supposed to be games. These are supposed to be fun. So play along. I sincerely hope that we understand each other. Oh, I think we do. I'm through talking, Hadrian. Let's just get this over with. Oh, you are just really pushing my buttons now. Watching you burn is going to be extra satisfying. You're saying burn. <laughs> She's what like falling into lava. Day for a game. Jesse, <laughs> good luck out there. Thanks. I'm sure you'll be great, but. Uh... Well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Thanks you too. Sam. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. M might be up to something. Right? So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How's that gonna work? A bigger group has a better chance of getting past the gladiators. Trust me. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay too. I'm sure you'll be fine. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? Yeah. That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint. It's gonna involve a lot of punching. No mercy, Petra. All around awesomeness. Give them all you got, Petra. I've been waiting all day for you to say that. I feel like I've been super grumpy towards everyone in this episode. It's like, I don't trust anyone. They're all full of bull crap. I hate them all. I feel super negative about all of this. Because it's just such, it's such BS. Like, why am I even having to deal with this? Oh my God. Jesse, I just like wanted to say, it's like an honor to be working together. Shut up. And I'm glad that M like totally suggested that. 
We can do this. Uh, Let's do it. Yeah. I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. Competitors on your I don't know what to think about this deal we made. Get set. Go! Oh, God! Oh, oh, I got dodge obstacles. Okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. Oh, uh, down? Slide? Oh, why? Okay. Whoa! That limbo. Oh, shit. That limbo, though. Dude, you guys are good. Oh. oh, I can move. Oh, I didn't realize I can move like this. I thought it was all button based. My bad. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Dude, this is so cool. Oh, what do we do here? Uh. Uh. Eh. Eh. Now what button? Huh? Here we go. Ah! I keep forgetting that I have to move my guy back and forth. I keep think I'm not used to that with these games. Okay, I got this. I got this. Don't worry. Swing point's gonna be good at this now. Okay, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Woo, 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 woo. See? I got us under control now. See? Did a oh. Uh, oh, I didn't even have to. I could have just... Okay. I could have just went to the left and I'd have been fine. Go holy Lee. See, I got this under control. I don't know where Petra just went, but I think she's got it. Okay. So, why? Dude, that dodge roll is so cool. All right, here we go. Here we go. I just got to get kind of ready here. Jump. Now to the yes. Jump. Yes. Jump. Much better swing point. <laughs> uh, we did it. This has been pretty tough. Can't wait to see what else they throw at us. This is gonna be you witness my greatness. <laughs> Get ready to witness some greatness. <laughs> greatness, huh? Huh? Excuse me. Whoa! You guys got guns. I got a sword. Jumps. Oh. Oh, maybe I can like smack it back at him. See how cool I really am. Oh, I'm gonna poke you in the butt. Goodbye. There goes your butt. Nope. Oh. Here you go. Oh, 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 oh. He's not dead. I gotta kill him. Chop his leg off. Feed it to his friends. Kill them all. Nope. Okay. Right in the neck. Come on. There you go. Right in the jugular. Uh oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Do your sprints. Here we go. We got him. We are way faster than they are. Wow. Oh. Can't touch these cookies. You gonna shoot your friend? Oh, right in the gut. Spilled his cookies all over the place. What's going on? Oh, down in here. Oh, that's refreshing. Way better than lava. Jeez. Do Minecraft people need to breathe? I'm not sure. Okay, sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? I don't know. Oh my god! No, it didn't! Oh, there they are. Look out! Arrow! Okay, I'm watching. I'm watching. Down. Oh, you're gonna die! No, oh, goodbye, guy. I'm okay. Um, get your face off the ground. Oh my god. That, that one guy keeps, like, being everywhere. Greatness, don't fail me now! Greatness, don't fail me now. You ready for the fun part? Let's do it! I sure hope so. Come on, man. Hope she doesn't screw me. I trust her right now. <laughs> Mainly because of Nell. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh yeah, Slab? Because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just beans more fun for me. Oh my god. Let's see about that, right, Em? Oh, I knew it! <laughs> oh, you bitch! I thought I was gonna have a choice to do something. Oh, nope. We're gonna screw M over real hard later. Oh! Ooh! Face kick! That was awesome! Where do you want me to go? Where am I going? Is that because M screwed me? That's map. This one. Tired of you, slab? I was just thinking the same thing about you. Get down. Whoa, Matrix. Whoa. God, I'm so pissed that Petra, Petra died. 
I wonder if there's something I could have done about that. I wonder if Amp screwed me over. I'm, I, I really want to know now. Oh god, there goes my sword. How'd oh, that happen? Ooh, thanks, face meat. Oh, goodbye. Dude, how am I still alive? <laughs> Screw you, Amp. Okay, maybe I can still win this thing. All right, let's see what we can do here. Dude, I am like so close. I could do this. That's what Start she said. Now. I'm winning this thing. Oh God, I <laughs> almost lost my cue there. Okay, up, 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 up. Wow, you guys suck at climbing. Go me. I should probably no. I was gonna try hey, to shimmy a little bit. Whoa, whoa, Jesse. Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? You oh, just need to- Slacker! Whoa! I'll save her. Oh, come on! Am is savage, oh, man! No, 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 no! Okay, we're fine. We're, we're fine. We'll figure this out, and Nell's gonna help me. Because Nell's been super nice this whole time. So Tim! <laughs> Okay, well, let's figure this out here. I wonder how much farther it is to the end. Here. Oh, the water, little dude. We can ride that wave right back up to the top. Ride that me. Of course you're great with water. Ride that wave, bruh. Just gotta surf the wave. You gotta feel it. <laughs> how do I spruce? Here we go. Swim up the waterfall. Whatever. <laughs> Whoa. Man, intense enough for you? Thanks for saving me. Yeah, don't mention it. Yeah, we gotta go. I was gonna say, you better come with me and, like, help. God damn it, M. I'm so pissed. You know, I'm really just curious about Petra right now, this though. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Jesse looks very heated. Bet you didn't think you'd see me here, did you? This just went from bad to worse. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, no, please. Deal. Tell me. <laughs> you probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you yeah. know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. Oh, I bet you. going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. It's okay, I understand. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Nah. Well, I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal. At any rate, I I gotta go. Okay, respawning is the worst. How come you get to come back? You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. Before I go anywhere, I want more information. And I wanted to kill you, but they wouldn't let me. I guess that means we don't always get what we want. It wouldn't let me. Come on. So, why did Petra get to come back? No. Just Jess. <sighs> Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. <sighs> okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. I'm so confused. Hmm. She should be in the same spot where Ivor and Lucas are. I to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? No. Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Give me one sec. I want to talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. 
Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse. I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sebastian. Phew. Okay. Good. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. What is it? Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse! Come on! Now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Yeah, sorry about that. I just really wanted to hear what that guy had to say. Pfft, whatever. I wonder if we're not going to get the journal back now. Because remember how Slab said you have to go ahead and do what he says when he says it? And we're kind of not doing that. Huh, interesting. I'm sure we'll get the journal back. Come on. That's been like wow, such a huge so part of this game. This is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> mm, just do that a whole bunch. <laughs> this is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. But why am I standing around? I, I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Sorry. What did that guy oh, make me? And don't touch anything. He gave me some sort Slab of blue thing. Said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. <laughs> okay, Jesse, look at you breaking the rules. Uh, look at the desk. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Me either. I guess what is this? Scenic view tap glass. He said don't touch anything. Now oh, that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas. What in here? No, I don't want to tap the glass quite yet. Not to mention it's not going to do anything. No portal, Atlas. A man forever voyaging by... Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? Yeah, we kind of determined that Soren's an old builder in the last episode. We kind of got that huge clue about the book. I could tap the glass to make the bat go away, I guess. Let's see what else there is. A uh, Tim! When did we get armor like this before? I feel like we saw armor like this when... Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. I mean, uh, yeah, but I feel like we saw something like this when... Welcome, Jesse. We were with fantastic the builders. Fantastic to have you here. Just or fantastic. The Order of the Stone. The well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there? Yes. I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. Why am I here? Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all... He's Tim. That must bug you. Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games. I love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow. But I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Tell me something, Hadrian. Do you even have a point when you start talking? <laughs> or you just hope to find one along the way? Because I'm getting really tired of listening to you blab. Whoa, wow, well, that's just kind of rude, champ. <laughs> Haven't you heard that patience is a virtue? See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? Is Tim even real? 
I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. Hmm. Of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play alone. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> he can move pretty Axel, quick. Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. That is so low. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice oh, is the bad. worst. <laughs> you can even hear it through the obsidian. Not gonna lie, guys, it's bad. <laughs> We're in a world where everyone is forced to compete in these crazy games and will be prisoners forever if I don't win. Uh, that is bad. I'm so sorry this you guys got roped into this. Yeah, that's not the best. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just... Wow, such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend, Reuben. What? Sup? What? I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Hi, Reuben. Oh, it was that guy from Endercon that was afraid of chickens. I told you, bro. Look, my name is Reuben, but the Reuben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though, seriously, dude, big fat. <laughs> so you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? You that scared? If you're this scared of me, I must have a better shot of winning than you're letting on. Or maybe I'm just tired of a little pipsqueak interfering with my games. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah, except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. Play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you. And you won't win anyway. Slap! Get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. Uh, uh, uh. Wow! Harper! Why did you throw us into this? Harper, I'm so mad at you right now. Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh, I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. I didn't take the deal because it was a no-win scenario, and I don't believe in those. I know we can find another way. I just hope you know what you're doing. <sighs> I, hope, I wish smart. you knew what you were doing. Adrian never would have kept that deal. 
Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? I don't know. He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by him. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal, and he's an honorable man. We're gonna end these games for good. Think you can handle that, Harper? Oh, I think I've got <laughs> some ideas. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Stop being such oh, a downer. It's impossible is what it is. Em, you are seriously damaging my flow by being such a downer. Either get on my side or get out of here. I'm just being realistic. If you really think you can get all the teams to not fight each other, then go right ahead. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. Tim's not real. Tim's not real. I think that's your cue to do your thing. What's my thing? Can you tell me to do my thing? These games are rigged. The old builders make you all compete in the games. Event after event after event. They build up hope, but they're still controlling everything. They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. Don't you want to go it's home? It's useless. Don't you want to go home, Em? I do, more than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! Yeah. That's the only thing keeping me going in here! Oh yeah, because if it weren't for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... <gasps> no way. Of course Tim's real! Look at the banners! Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. <gasps> I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Of course he is. It's all a part of how the old builders keep their control over everyone. That's awful. Seriously. But we can beat them. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the game. Shut up, Why Em. Why should I even try anymore? Oh my god, I'm gonna kick you right in your blocks. Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Like they've yep. got us all on leashes. Hey, but the old builders don't know that we know. We have surprise on our side. Surprise, awesome. That'll be a ton of help when a gladiator's running at me with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but um, those gladiators are like super tough. <laughs> like max level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, I mean totally OP. OP. Those gladiators are a bunch of tough cookies. Definitely cookies. true. No way any of you stand a chance against them. <laughs> uh, where's Jesse going with this? But that's just because you've never had a leader to help you make a plan. You've never- Oh, I get it now. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. Oh my god. You can do it! Doing awesome. We are Tim. We can do this. We don't need Tim because we are Tim. Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it. This just felt really anticlimactic. <laughs> Look, it was a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Oh my God, you need that to... should speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. <laughs> I used to be a bad guy. I used to be a bad guy. <laughs> Maybe. I used to be a bad guy. <laughs> Man, what a line. Some crowd. Think they got through to him? Yeah. Wait, so who are we fighting then? Oh, God. 
reaction definitely seemed mixed. They're on uh, board. Yeah, totally. I mean, you did hear it, right? Loud and clear. It just might not have been enough. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. <sighs> God damn it, Tim. I knew Tim was a phony. God. Okay, guys, we're gonna end this part here. There's one more part of Minecraft Story Mode, and then it's done. The series is done. This eight-episode behemoth from Telltale Games is finally done. And it was good. I liked it a lot. I was upset at the ending, and then they rebounded with, like, the perfect thing right at the end. <laughs> so you guys will see what I mean. It, it's good. I liked the game a lot. I was really impressed with all the episodes that they released, and I felt like they did a good job with the story in this one, too. It kind of almost felt like each one of these episodes, especially from episode 5 on, was like its own movie. So, if you haven't already, go ahead, leave a like, and subscribe. That way, you can see more videos we do around here. You can help me out, too. And then I'll see you guys in the last video of Minecraft Story Mode. Hello, everyone. My name is Swingpoint, and welcome to Escape the McDonald's on a game called Roblox. You guys have suggested that I play Roblox a lot, a lot, a lot in the comments. And I've always just kind of been like, nah. Yeah, I looked at it like, nah. But I decided to give it a shot. And I've been looking a little bit into the game. I actually.